Hey you all, so today is Monday, September 11th. Today my son went back to school and also I have a job interview coming up. Um, right now the time is 2.10 p.m. and my job interview is at 4 p.m. Uh, I'm gonna be taking public transportation so the city MD is about an hour and eight minutes from my house. Um, I have to take one train to a bus so I'm going to try to get ready. Um, when I looked it up on the GPS, it said that um, I should leave here around 2.45. Um, I'm already showered and stuck for the day. I just have to get my scrubs on. That's what I'm going to be wearing for my interview attire. And I'm also just going to bring two copies of my resume. <laughs> find two copies of my resume but I couldn't find it and I could have sworn like I always keep two copies somewhere but it's okay they do have my resume on file it's just sometimes when you go to an interview they do ask you for a physical copy so it's a plus even though it's in their system but I'm pretty much ready I have my bag there was a plate I was supposed to wash but I don't think I have time to wash it It wouldn't be a New York City vlog if I didn't show you guys how I was getting to my job interview. So here I am catching the bus. Um, it was very crowded, you know, people coming from work and school. Um, I just feel like at this time, the kids are really rowdy. And I feel like when I was growing up, like, of course we were loud and played a fool on the bus. But like these generation now, I just feel like it's crazy. If you ever ride the select bus, you know you never pay in the front. Everybody always just goes through the back door because... That's just what New Yorkers do. But please be aware that you can't do that on every select bus. Like if you guys see the cops waiting at the select bus stop, you know that you got to either pay for your ticket or you just swipe your card. Like the cops are there. That's different. Like you could get fined. <laughs> this is it we made it so wish me luck guys i'll let you know how it goes y'all the way i'm about to sit here and bust on this sandwich is no joke so I just came back from the job interview. Um, I'm waiting for Micah to come out of school. So I was hungry. So I was like, let me just get a sandwich. I haven't had a deli sandwich in a long time. And I feel like the way they wrap this sandwich is really different. Like I've never seen like a deli or bodega wrap their sandwich like this. Like it's usually like one, you know, like one whole hero, but I like this way and got some water just to stay hydrated. I didn't want to get anything too sugary. Um, I got a turkey sandwich with a lettuce tomato, um, mayo, banana peppers, salt, pepper, vinegar. If you know, you know. Food taste test. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right here. Mm hmm. You can even see the pepper. Mm-hmm. 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 That's exactly what I needed. But about this interview, I feel like I got the same the same impression that I got over the phone with them. Like I got with them in person too. Like it was just you know, just vibes. Like, I feel like 
I was a part of the city MD team and I didn't even work there yet, you know? Like it was two women interviewing me, two black women interviewing me. Um, one of the, both of them have been there for seven years. Um, one of them, she said her her seventh year anniversary is coming up in the next month. So she's actually been there for like six and a half years, but next month will make seven years. So she's the one who started as a medical assistant like me. And she said that within the seven years, she worked her way up to senior, senior office manager. She's a senior something. And then the other lady she started off as i think a patient care coordinator and now she's also in a senior position so that's definitely something that i want you know i want to join a company that's going to help me you know just you know rise up in my career goals so yep And I feel like the commute was easy as well. Like from my house, I had to take one train and one bus, which was one hour. Um, I am thinking about moving soon. So um, hopefully in the same area where I work. Like they were saying that they would want me to do um, 12 hour shifts um, Monday through Friday. So they open at 8 a.m. and then they close at 8 p.m also they would want me to work saturdays and sundays i think from saturday sunday they're open from nine to five so like i that's something that like i really like, i feel like everything about it just like the ladies and just like when i worked in when i walked in i feel like the facility was very modern even like there was a patient she was trying to take a picture of her id card and she was having difficulty and obviously she didn't know that I didn't work there. But I guess she saw me with my medical scrubs on and was asking me to assist her. So, you know, I assisted her. So it was like, I didn't even work there yet. And I'm already helping patients like, come on now. So I'm just really excited. Um, like right now I'm in the second step of the interview process. Um, the first step of the interview was just a phone interview over the phone. Um, it was probably just about for like 10, 15 minutes. Um, this time was an in-person interview for like 30 minutes. Um, they were saying I have to wait for a phone call of when to tell, like of when my third interview would be scheduled. But it's basically just gonna be training you on like, they just wanna see, it's like an evaluation. So like if you've ever worked in customer service, like I know when I worked at Burlington, um, like there will be like once a month, like while you're ringing up customers your supervisor would like stand in front of your cashier and there will be like an assessment that she completes as she sees you interacting with customers um to just rate your overall customer service um score so basically she was saying that in the third fourth and fifth step of this medical assistant interview process they are going to be testing me on different things like blood work how to restock um like the cabinets in the medical office um like different just stuff every day um shift kind of things and they were still saying that at any point they could decide to i guess reject me and then if i get a rejection at this location then i'm also going to get rejected from all the other locations so i'm letting you know i'm gonna be working hard like when i tell you like i'm even gonna take like a notepad during the training or something because i'm trying to be on it like i'm trying to just remember everything i need to do like i feel like this company offers just so much security and this is something that i really 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 need so just i hope everything goes well i will probably be updating you guys through this whole process um whether it's like a post or something I post on my community board about where I'm at in my interview process. So stay tuned. Um, another thing that I forgot to mention was that she wanted to know if I was willing to like relocate to other um, city MDs in the area. For example, she was saying like if there's like 
a low like workload at one facility they may require me to go to another facility to help out so i told her like of course like i'll be more than willing to do that as long as it's in the queen's area and had also asked her like does she accommodate you know the employees when they're moving from location to location so she said yes they do that in the event that they would have to send me to another location that they would put me in an uber or if it's like something where like they give me a month's notice they would give me a month's notice before i have to work at that site so let's say right now it's september so they will tell me like from october 15th to october 30th you're gonna be working at da -da 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 location so you know just be aware that you have to work at that location and just make arrangements to arrive at work on time so that's fine with me um she also said that there i would probably be the only medical assistant at the location and that I would have to go from room to room so she was asking me like how do I work under pressure like if I'm the only medical assistant on site and there's like four patient rooms filled like how would I be able to handle you know going back and forth to check on patients or like sometimes let's say like the physician may order blood work but then they may come back to you and be like hey like I made a mistake I may have to order you may have to order another type of blood work instead because I need that one. So I was just telling her that I'm used to working in a fast paced environment and that um, basically like I would just try to see the patients in a certain time window and just like have priority between like who, which patients are there for like follow ups or have an appointment there at the urgent care and which ones are just walk ins. Um, and I guess the severity of what they're coming in for as well, you know, their chief complaint. And yeah, that's it. And by the way, I've already eaten one half of my sandwich and I'm definitely gonna finish the other half before I leave because I'm still starving. Well, also like while I'm out here, like some of these gnats are biting me up. I'm starting to feel itchy on my thighs in my legs so i know probably when i shower later on tonight that i'm gonna be itchy mm. mm -hmm. the cake from that banana pepper is amazing mm -hmm. it's like it's sweet but then it's also just like that heat that you feel it's just good like Aki put his foot in the sandwich for real like mm -hmm. I'm definitely gonna have that I'll make my sandwich every single time mm -hmm. what did I say y'all what did I say finished like I'm real like pretty sometimes like sometimes like when I'm just like depressed and down about myself and stressed out I always like downplay my looks but today I'm in a good mood like nothing can stop my mood at all so today like I'm pretty so who's telling me what I'm waiting Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely wanting to go home because it looks very dark and dreary, like it's about to rain very heavily. Um, but I just got the call that Micah is five minutes away, so I'm walking to pick him up right now. Um, so this is going to be the end of the vlog, because um, after this we're going to go home. So see you guys on the next video.